everybody, this is Brett Thompson from Pez Cantina, chef and owner here, and I just uh, thank you for, for tuning in, and I want to show you one of my favorite recipes for the summer. Uh, I do a lot of different variations of this, uh, gazpacho, but today's going to be uh, with crab and avocado, and we're going to make a green tomato gazpacho, uh, kind of in a, in a different way, so I hope you enjoy it. And I'll try to be as clear as possible, I know I'm wearing this thing right now, but I've got a bunch of my staff around me, so I want to make sure we're creating a, a safe work environment. So, a couple of things I want to go over the ingredients. We've got uh, crab here, and we use a lump crab meat, but you can go ahead and use any kind of canned crab you like, or even tuna fish, whatever you like, but I'm using crab today. And in, I make it very much like a tuna salad, so crab, canned crab, squeeze all the water out, uh, which we have in here. Celery, onions, mayonnaise, all small dice, salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon juice, simple. And then for the, for the gazpacho, uh, I got, you know, I, I kind of cheat because we're at a restaurant and we have all these ingredients already. But basically I use salsa verde, a little bit of fresh lime juice, cilantro, and sour cream or Mexican crema. And I'm just going to blend those all together and it comes out awesome, so salt and pepper. Uh, okay, so that's the green gazpacho. We're going to have, you know, we've got some avocado, we've got these beautiful little, like chocolate peppers are growing in the garden out here. Some yellow bell pepper. Uh, Red, uh, red onion dice, cucumber dice, cilantro, serrano cheese for the spiciness. And um, I've got these beautiful tomatoes. Also, we're going for our garden, like little sweet 100 tomatoes. They're called sweet 100s. Uh, and we've got this great sauce here. It's uh, made out of squid ink. We got squid ink. Actually, it is the ink from squid. And we just, it doesn't really have a lot of flavor, but it has a very, very powerful color impact. And that, I mixed that with a little bit of sour cream. And then this is a, an aioli made with chili puya. So those are all the sauces we got going on here. Now, also, I just want to show you a little tip. I always have a spoon well. It's called a spoon well. I have a water, little water container with a spoon in here. And I love using this because I can just put a spoon in there when I'm done. And it keeps your, your kitchen nice and organized. And you're not leaving your spoons like, you know, all over the cutting board and it gets to be a mess. So I always encourage my cooks here in the kitchen and also you at home to do that because it just keeps everything nice and easy. Also having like a little trash container. So I'll put a little bowl here. And rather than going to the trash every time, you have it right here. It's super simple and quick and easy. Let's get to it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to stuff this avocado. I, uh, you want to try to find a really perfect avocado. Uh, you know, that looks pretty nice. A little bit of brown there, but I'm not too concerned about that. Kit comes right out with a knife like that. And then what you want to do is you want to just kind of gently scoop the avocado out like this, kind of round it out, and come right out. Really simple and easy. Don't touch the container. This is extra. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of set this aside for the presentation. All right, and then now we're gonna do the gazpacho. So first I'm gonna dice these yellow peppers. I'm not gonna throw the, the top and bottom, I'm just gonna put it aside. Cut down like this, and I'm gonna kind of roll with the pepper take out the seeds. Be really careful at this point because you don't want to cut your finger, but it comes out super easy. So again, top, bottom off, and kind of roll with it like this. I'm only going to use half of the pepper. And I'm going to brew logs with like small dices. So I'm going to first cut them into sticks, like julienne, like that. And just put one portion, I don't need too much. And I'm going to turn those guys and just dice them up. Okay? So, all right, it's, it's a little hole here. So put these guys in here, just scoop up with a knife like that. Alright, and then I've got this beautiful chocolate pepper. I'm going to do the same thing, cut the top off, cut the bottom off. I'm going to save it. You could actually blend that into the gazpacho if you wanted to, or save it for a different dish. I'm going to cut, cut out the seeds and the ribs again. Make sure you get all the seeds out. The seeds really don't feel very good in your mouth. I don't like that feeling of the seeds. And this is this is such a great color of this chili. Again, julienne. And then you kind of line them up, turn them around like this. And cut them into small dice. You notice I have this, the skin down as I'm doing the julienne, skin down, because it's a lot harder to get through the skin if it's up, so we go down like this. Okay, so now I've got cucumber dice, I already have that done. Red onion dice some cilantro chiffonade or chopped up. Okay. Some salt and pepper. 
I use kosher salt and freshly ground pepper, of course. You guys know I like fresh ground pepper. I'm gonna put a little bit of this fresh lime juice in here. Not too much, I don't want it to be too sour. But you can see the colors are just fantastic. Really fresh. Um, give a little taste. The colors are great too, you know. You could even put like mango in here, or whatever. It's kind of fun to play with. For the gazpacho, I got this heavy duty blender here. I'm gonna add the Mexican green, the lime juice, salsa verde, the cilantro. I basically just washed, stems are on it, no problem. Just rip it in half, throw it in there. Don't waste your time chopping it up. Some salt, some pepper. A different take on gazpacho, a little different than you, than you, you usually see. Okay, so now, uh, you know, one thing I forgot for the for the gazpacho tomatoes. These tomatoes are gorgeous. They're just so sweet. They taste like like gumballs. They're really, really delicious. Lots of sugar. I'm gonna pop those guys also into the I'm a little bit too overripe, so I'm gonna hold off on that. But yeah, I mean, they cut, they just cut so easily. And, okay, so that's that. Now for the presentation. So I'm gonna show you something kind of fun. I'm gonna take a uh, squid ink and put a little dot like that. And use a pastry brush. You can do this with any kind of sauce, even barbecue sauce, whatever. And kind of just uh, brush it up like that. Brush it down like that. And you get this cool looking like, you know, little highway. Alright. And then, we're going to spoon some of the gazpacho right on top of this. The avocado right on top of that. So you can see it's, it looks fancy. Super easy to do, guys. Super easy to do. Now we're gonna fill the hole uh, with this. Again, you could use tuna, uh, you could use shrimp, make a shrimp salad, you could do a lobster salad, leftover salmon, you could make a salmon salad. I mean, it's really uh, fun and uh, very versatile to, to do different things. Okay, here's it. So the water bath is great because you pull out the spoon and it's ready to go. So really, really pretty presentation. You know, kind of like going across, like so you have one line this way, one line that way. It's a really, really cool look. Very, very summery, very fresh. Okay, and this guy here. Dots for decoration. That's it. Very, very simple. Super colorful. Really fresh. You know, you got the crab, you got the avocado. Super rich. You want to put some herbs on top of here or whatever. Maybe even some like tortilla chips or some grilled bread. But that's it. Super simple. Enjoy. Whatever to you.